Hi and welcome back you guys. I'm so sorry. It's been such a long time since I post a video. It's been a crazy crazy month. Between the holiday, my son having to have surgery, I caught a horrible cold. I just haven't been able to do any review but I'm gonna get back on track so let's just get back to what we're really good at is press on nail. The set that I did, I did it with a lot of um, gems and rhinestone and I found that it really got in the way. Also, it wasn't age appropriate for me or at least that's how I felt when it was on my set. It looked beautiful, but it was just too much to take care of. So I went right back to the Glam Fantasy and look how beautiful this is. I wore this set right after Christmas into New Year's and it's officially three weeks now since I've had it on and I could tell you, when I got this out of the kit, you're gonna get multiple different types of set. You're gonna get the matte, the chrome, the glitter. You can mix and match. I just mix it in this type of set. I thought it would be beautiful for the holidays. If you're new to press on nails, this is what you're gonna get when you get it out of the box. One, you're gonna get the glue and it's the best press on glue you could ever use. It's the best. I just wish they made a brush on version of this that's as strong as this because the brush one isn't as good. Also, you're gonna get their little kit that comes with a file and a cuticle pusher. Don't ever use this very much, but I do like to just have it as an emergency in my purse. So if and when my nails chip, crack, I can just lightly file and put it back into place. So the set that I got is a medium length, even though I prefer short or even extra short, but this was the only one that I could find at the store. So I'm gonna talk about the pros and the cons. The pro is that it gives you so many beautiful different ways of wearing it. Um, the con is that anytime when you have chrome, and I don't wanna flip you off, but the rose gold, I wore this just as a chrome set before, based on how handy you are with your hands or how active you are, once the chrome chip, you're done. There's no way of repainting it. The only way to resolve that, if it chips really bad, is, I'm gonna give you an example. You have to cut off whatever that part is and turn it into a square look instead of the rounded look. Overall, this lasts me perfectly three weeks with no issue whatsoever. I thought the glitter might chip or come off and it actually does not. So, I'm gonna show you guys how simple it is to apply on and then I'm also gonna show you guys how simple it is to get off. So to prep your nails, all you're gonna do is trim your nail to your liking. If you're wearing a pointed one and it's a little bit longer, you don't necessarily have to cut it too short. I just like to cut my natural nail a little bit shorter so that it doesn't stick through and food doesn't get stuck to it. Once I have it cut to my length, I'm just gonna take a nail file that does not come in this kit. You could buy this for like a dollar at your store and then lightly shape the side, the side, and then I just kind of make this rounded a little bit just because it is pointed. I don't want it peeking through. Once I have that, the next step I'm gonna do is just lightly rough the top of the nail bed. The reason why I'm doing this is to create a little bit of a barrier so that when you put your glue on, it's gonna grip on really nicely. Just lightly like that. And then when you remove it, you'll kind of just see, one, it'll even everything out, and two, you'll feel like it is a little bit rough. It's not really damaging your nail in any way. Now that I have a good landing spot to put my glue, I'm also gonna take a cuticle clipper and just look over my cuticle. If it's sticking out and it's looking a little crazy, I would just, at this time, clean it out. I usually will do this, and then I will go and wash my hand completely. Once my hand is washed, I'm gonna go with a cotton ball and just clean my nail bed with either acetone, which is nail polish remover, or alcohol. The reason why you wanna do that is to dehydrate the nail so that there is no oil or residue from the soap because if you apply glue onto it and there is a little bit of oil lotion, it will slip and slide and your nail will lift really fast. So I'm gonna go take care of that and I'll show you guys how to apply the press on. Once the nail bed is completely clean, I feel like the barrier right here is nicely roughed up just to get ready for the glue. The cuticle actually looked pretty decent. At this time, you'll either need a cuticle pusher or use the cuticle stick that came in your kit. I've done this so often that I don't actually use that. I use the press-on itself. And the way you know that the press-on fits to your nail bed is first by applying it on. If it looks like it fits naturally, you wanna look underneath and that's the size of your nail bed. I've always been a number two for my thumbnails and it has never changed regardless which brand I'm using. Now I take that set and I just push the cuticle back lightly. You're not doing it with a lot of pressure. Once you have that, you can kind of just see it create a 
perfect landing spot so that it looks more natural as if your natural nails was growing out. If you have it in front or a little bit on your cuticle, it just looks really bad. Also, it creates a lot of lifting, especially if you uh, are working with your hair or taking a shower. Um, it will snag onto it and that's what creates the press on to lift a lot faster. So as you can see on the side, it's just gonna glide right underneath your cuticle. Once I have that, I'm just gonna grab the glue that came in the kit. It's one of my favorite glue. It has never failed me. I put one good drop on top of my thumb. Once I get a ball in place, I just use the tip of the glue and I spread it. I tried many glue, but this is the only one that honestly has never failed me. I also buy a brush on glue just to put in my purse to make it easy in between if I'm traveling or if I'm at an event and I'm worried that, hey, it's been two weeks, I'm worried that it might just maybe pop off with too much activities. Those brush on glues are amazing for that purpose and that purpose only. I don't use that anymore to put my first set of press on because I notice it only lasts a week. Now that I have the press on, I like to have it facing my nail facing forward and I go from this angle and I'm just gonna like lightly, again, underneath the cuticle, find my landing spot, and once I do, I just glide it right under, push down, and tap. Before you tap on it hard, you wanna just lay your hand out and make sure it's straight. Often, if you rush it and you're doing it from the side like this, you often think that it looks perfect, and then when you look forward, your nail is actually crooked. Now that I know that it's perfectly straight, I tap on top, squeeze all the air bubble out, then I go to the edge, edge, tap it, and then just do a circle motion to make sure all the glue is pressed on every corner of the nails. It's honestly that simple. And once you're done, if you feel like, hey, it's just a little too wide, but the other side is just too big, just go back with your nail file and you could shape it. And you could do that by just grabbing that nail file and just go to the side lightly and fit it to your liking. You also will need something called a buffer. It looks like this. I like to have this because at the tip of the nail where they press the number, also just from the manufacturer when they make it, there's just a little bit of a rough spot. And if I'm putting makeup on or I'm working with the kids, it often can scratch them. So I just go back with a buffer and lightly, slow motion. We're not trying to remove the shape. We're not trying to change the shape. We're just trying to remove that little residue. See? couple seconds and you have literally a press on nail that's ready to go. So I'm gonna follow this exact same style. I'm gonna do a little chrome, a little gold, and then finish it off with a matte on my pinky. And I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like at the end of the video. Also, I'll wear this as long as it'll allow me and I'll give you my true opinion if it actually will last to my test, which is at least two to three weeks. So just like this said, once you wear this for a while, you'll kind of see and you'll know when your press on is about to come off is when you're doing your hair, it's gonna snag onto your hair. That's the first indication. The second indication is by just lightly tapping at the tip, you should see where the cuticle is. It should lift lightly. And to remove your press on here, so you're just gonna push down and it should just lightly lift like that. And this is when you know it's time to either re-glue it or remove it in general. And the reason why is water could get in between here and you can actually create a lot of moisture underneath and that's not good. That's not good for any type of nail. So I'm ready. It's been three and a half weeks that I've had this on now and I'm ready to just try a new set. But I wanna show you guys how simple. Push down and it's gonna lightly lift. Push a little bit more and it's gonna release more. And all you're gonna do is take your other nail Lightly go on one side, lightly go on the other side, and it should just come off like that. That's how simple it is. And underneath, you can see the glue. And then on your nails, it's really simple. You're gonna lightly file the access glue that's sitting on your nails. If you want a really good demo on how to remove it, comment down below, because I love to do it for you guys. But I'm just gonna tell you, simple. Remove all your nails, soak your hand in warm water with a little bit of soap and some oil and it's gonna also hydrate your nails back and all you're gonna do is file off the access and put a top coat on and your nails is back to normal. So I'm gonna show you guys one more how simple it is. Push down and once you see an opening, you could just either use your other finger lightly and it should just come off like that. It's press on so you don't have to put a lot of pressure but if you are very nervous to like, oh I don't wanna pop it that way, what you could do is the same way as you would do a manicure, put a nice warm water with some soap, some coconut oil, and just soak your hand in there. The longer you soak, the easier it's gonna come off. 
um, and then that will keep your hand hydrated and easy for you to remove but honestly by the time that you can wear for three weeks it should come off really easily so now I'm gonna file this off and then my whole set of nails is ready to go see I just lightly tap it and it's once you get to that three four weeks it's so simple to get it off there's no like hurting there's no damaging to your nail because it's already at the point where it needs to come off and you can see it's that simple that's why I love press on love love press on so I'm gonna be doing a couple more different review on the press on different style um, if you guys want me to demo any products out there that you're curious about comment down below I'm always here to answer question or even just demo new products that's what makes it fun I hope you guys enjoy the video and until next time I'll see you guys later